Okay, in the back. What was that? That kind of sounded like a growl. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. Today I'm in Dublin, Ireland. I'm gonna take you to look at one of its spookiest places where it said the devil himself has visited before. Let's go check out the Dublin Hellfire Club. Is this here? I don't know if that's creepy or just disgusting. <laughs> anyway. We are hiking up uh, to the Dublin Hellfire Club. It is basically a ruined building on the top of a big hill. And yeah, I'll tell you a bit about it, ghost stories and history when we get there. So it certainly is a bit of a trek. It's quite cool though, like just looking up here, it looks quite spooky. I reckon we need to come back at night. So we've been walking for ages, there's no signs. We might be a little bit, we're not lost, but we don't know where we're going. <laughs> feel like it's this way, so we're gonna head down this path. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Jared just found a little tunnel in the woods. Let's go in. Wow, this is this is so eerie. I feel like I'm in the movie The Witch or something. Is that a movie? The Witch is a movie, yes. Wow, this is so cool. This isn't even what we came here to see. <laughs> Let's go find the Hellfire Club. Now we believe that we found it, we can see it ahead, so really excited. At the tip of Montpelier Hill rests a mysterious stone ruin, best known as the Dublin Hellfire Club. This structure has strange links to the devil himself and a dark past shrouded in legends and mystery. The building is said to be cursed first being built as a hunting lodge by a wealthy Irishman back in the early 1700s. Soon after construction was completed, a fierce storm tore the roof right from the lodge. Many believe this to be the time when rumours of a curse began. These were formed on the basis that the lodge was built directly over the top of an ancient burial ground and spirits who were disturbed by this now haunt the premises. The building later became a meeting spot for the infamous Hellfire Club. This notorious club, which was founded by a dark magic enthusiast in the early 1700s, were known for their debauchery and misbehaviour, including sex, alcohol and alleged devil worship including Satanism. The Hellfire Club president even became known as the King of Hell and took to dressing himself up as Satan with horns and hooves. Some say many animals and even some humans were sacrificed within the club and that it was once purposefully set on fire in order to feel more like hell. There are many Dublin Hellfire Club stories, some of which are particularly sinister. One curious outsider who was invited into the club to partake in its night's rituals was driven insane by what he witnessed. It is told that he was unable to recount what exactly he had experienced as he lost his mind and for the rest of his life could not even recall his own name. Another outsider who decided he'd check out the club one night turned up dead the next morning. This led to a man and a priest investigating the club the very next day. Upon entering the building they found it empty besides an oversized black cat with horns for ears prowling the room where a great feast had obviously just taken place. Supposedly, one man was left with large scratch wounds all over his face, yet the priest was able to exorcise the demon cat by showering it with some holy water he had on his person, which caused the cat to be torn apart. Perhaps the most sinister of all of the Dublin Hellfire Club stories is that of one which involves the devil actually visiting the building. 
I returned to the Hellfire Club at night to conduct a paranormal investigation of one of the most haunted places in Ireland. Okay, so I have made it back to the entrance of the trail that leads up to the Dublin Hellfire Club. It's very late, pitch black. Just leaving the last bit of light here in the car park now. Uh, so wish me luck hiking up that big hill in the dark. So seriously, I just wanted to show you this terrain that we just hike, uh, hiking up to get to the uh, Hellfire Club. It's really hard to do in the dark. <laughs> So we managed to hike all the way up the hill and make it to the Hellfire Club and it's really ominous looking at night in uh, the dark of night. If you look out behind you, there's a beautiful view of the city. It's like you can see Dublin, you can see everything. It's amazing. But the building itself looks creepy as f <laughs> Well. Uh, we're going to head in, have a look around, and maybe try a couple of spirit box EVP, uh, see if we pick up on anything creepy in there. Is it just me? What is it? It smells different at night. Yeah. Yeah. It smells dim. Bang. Alright, let's go upstairs now. Upstairs in the very haunted Dublin Hellfire Club. We're going to give a spirit box session a go and see if we can make contact with any spirits that may be lingering here. Hello, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits around that want to communicate? Did you hear yes? Mm -hmm. Can you come close and tell me your name? What are you doing here? Were you a member of the Hellfire Club? Can you tell me about the human sacrifices performed here? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Possibly bats or bird? bird. Hello? Is there someone there? If you made a noise, can you do it again? Okay, so we both just heard a noise come from maybe the room next, maybe inside this room, I can't really tell. It sounded kind of like wings flapping, so birds or bats we're thinking. But one of the, uh, probably the scariest thing about this place was there was a whole bunch of people just hanging out in the ruin uh, when we arrived earlier tonight. They've all cleared out and hopefully gone now, but um, I'm always more scared of people than I am scared of ghosts. Should we go check out this other room? Mm -hmm. Actually, can you see anything? Just tell me if there's a step for you. Right, should we continue our spirit box in here? Yep. Okay. In the back, what was that? Chipped packet. Oh, Is I think. Water dripping? Yeah, I think there's water dripping in here. Okay, I'm going to move that chip packet then. Right, so we're about to conduct another spirit box session in a different room of the upstairs area in the Dublin Hellfire Club. Is there anybody around that wants to talk? Come close and say something to me. How did you die? You heard that right. Mm -hmm. What was that? No. Turn Could around, shine the light. Could this be like your wind through the windows? 
that kind of sounded like a growl, if I'm being honest. Should we just keep going? Yeah. Did you just growl at me? How do you feel about us being in this building? What kind of activities went on here? Did you perform satanic rituals? So probably the most well-known and creepiest story about the Dublin Hellfire Club relates to the devil himself. And I really wanted to save telling this story till tonight when we were back here in the dark. So the legend goes that one night there was a couple of fellas playing cards at the Hellfire Club and a complete stranger rocked up at the building, knocked on the door. You know, they answered and thought, hey, uh, we'll help this guy out. We'll give him, you know, lodging for the night. He can come in and join us. So he came in, sat down and was playing cards with them. And there was something a little bit odd about this guy that they couldn't quite put their fingers on. But the story goes that one of them dropped a card onto the floor. So he leant over to pick it up. But as he picked it up, he looked over at the stranger's feet and he seen that they were cloven hooves. So after that, they believed that it was Satan himself had paid them a visit. Now, I don't know if this is um, related to that, but I did hear if you walk backwards around the Hellfire Club three times, you will either sight the devil or summon a demon. So we might have to bring Jared Cam back tonight for that one. How do you feel about that? Mm. Jared Cam is live. So Jared is gonna walk around the Dublin Hellfire Club three times backwards. And just document how you feel, if you see anything, if you feel like you're becoming possessed. I feel cold. So how am I gonna see? Cause I've got this light in my face. Oh. <laughs> That's a really good question. That, let me just, let me just start. Do you All need right. a second torch? I've got to walk around the building three times. Do I have to say anything? Um, I read online you can say the Lord's Prayer or a Hail Mary. I don't know what that is though. <laughs> okay, I don't remember the Lord's Prayer, so I'm going to just have to... Just wing it, just go. Alright, here I go. Okay, lap number one. It's really hard to walk because there's like... Just grass everywhere so Jared is off Jared camming and I just get to appreciate this beautiful view I don't think anything's gonna happen there he goes you're not walking backwards I'm supposed to walk backwards ah yes. oh. <laughs> start again didn't I say that I'm not gonna see. I don't know <laughs> Just be careful. Just do two more and see what happens. <laughs> Just be careful. Just go slow. So I swear I told him that he has to walk backwards. If you walk backwards around the Hellfire Club, backwards, 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 three times backwards, 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 backwards. He just did it facing forwards, so. I don't know if that counts or not. <laughs> Look, okay, I'm walking backwards now. I knew he fell over walking forwards. Surely he's gotta be almost done with this next lap now. This is the dumbest summoning ritual I've ever heard of. I don't feel anything, I just feel cold and stupid. Not agreeing to do this. Right, that's lap. One, done. 
Okay, he's back. Do you feel anything? No. Are you scared? No. Scared of falling over and hurting myself. All right, he's going for it. I think he's gonna do three full backwards laps. He's actually trailing the grass. I feel like I'm not the only idiot that's tried this before. All right, lap two, done. How are you going? It's stupid. Have you noticed anything weird yet? My legs feel like jelly from walking like this, like a crab. All right, beginning the third lap, last one. Where I'm supposed to see a demon or something. Jared's on his last lap now, and I just heard a dog off in the distance barking. I don't know if that means anything. I was scared of those teenagers that were hanging around here earlier. Okay, he's coming back around now. You gotta go all the way to where you started. Was that your third one? Yep. Nice. Alright, that's it. Whew, no demons. No devil. You didn't see anything? Nope. Maybe you'll see it later tonight. All right guys, so I have a super cool uh, new gadget to reveal and this is awesome because it's actually something that Jared made for me to help me with my ghost hunting. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but it's really cool and it's unique to other apps on the market because it kind of blends all of the current ghost hunting gadgets out there into one where you can record yourself um, in selfie mode and it will display all of uh, the readings or information or data that you gather. It's not on the market yet, it's still kind of like in test mode, uh, but why not test it at a real haunted location? So I'm going to start recording on it and see if we get anything. So giving GhostTube a well, we have a EVP recorder and we've got our magnetic de uh, forces detector and then we also have a little ghost dictionary that uh, selects words based on magnetic readings. What's that? I think this is water dripping. Oh, okay. Is there anyone in this room with us? Can you come close and say something to us? Can you tell me your name? Benjamin. <gasps> okay, so we just got a reading, Benjamin. Benjamin, what do you want to say to us? We are a member of the Hellfire Club. This is another ghost tube session inside the Dublin Hellfire Club. I'm going to look and see if there are any strange magnetic readings within the room that I'm in. So I'm just walking around and it's very dark in here so I actually can't see anything. So the magnetic reader actually uses the compass in the phone um, to detect changes oh. in magnetic north. Okay. Which is sporadic so you'll see it kind of moving up and down a little bit. But... It's, yeah, the tiniest bit. So if it moves a big bunch, then there's something around. It seems quite normal in here though, if just staying there is normal. So other than that uh, one word of Benjamin coming up, we didn't really receive anything else. I just want to reiterate that that uh, Benjamin could have just been a complete coincidence but basically why that came up was there was a certain fluctuation in the magnetic forces around us that selected that word from a dictionary. So whether it's paranormal or not is, um, you, you know, up to the user I guess. Okay, we just missed it on camera but there was just the biggest noise that came out of the Hellfire Club, which is which is empty now that we're out of it, I am assuming. What did it sound like to you? It sounded like a big something dragging yeah. in there, right? Yeah. On the left, did you hear it on the left side? Yep. Should we go in and have a look? Mm -hmm. Can you see? Yeah, a little bit. Yep. So I'm going to go into the room on the left. So there's nothing in here and like these ceilings. I don't feel like bats would live on, on these ceilings, right? I'm currently sitting downstairs inside the Dublin Hellfire Club. I am going to do a quick EVP session and uh, see if we pick up on anything, uh, any other voices than mine. What is your name?
Can you tell me how he died? Did you practice Satanism? Alright guys, I am sitting in the window, I think, of the Dublin Hill Fire Club downstairs. I'm going to try a spirit box session here. Uh, there is a fireplace in this room and I heard that some of the burial stones from the original burial pot here were used in the making of the, the fireplace. So, I don't know, maybe that means something. Hi, my name is Amy. Is there anyone around that wants to talk? Sounds like hi Amy, maybe. I thought I heard my name in there, but everything sounds like my name. What are you doing in this building? Is this where you died? I didn't make it out. Neither. Is it true that the devil visited the Hellfire Club? Is this place evil? Thank you guys so much for watching. I managed to make it back to the car safely. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'd love any of your thoughts on Ghost Tube or if you have any feedback about the app, I can pass on to Jared. If you want to read a bit more about the Dublin Hellfire Club or any other haunted locations, head to amyscrypt.com. And until next time, remember, stay spooky.